Hey everyone, it's uh, me here and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green in the last episode. We made it here to Mount Moon and we caught our third team member, Superstar the Clefairy, my favorite Kanto Pokemon, just in general. And we made it to the bottom basement floor of Mount Moon. And we're gonna do stuff here. And since these guys are Team Rocket Grunts, even though I could then always get past this guy, I wanna fight him. So I figure it's about time we actually give Superstar her debut battle. That I actually wanna talk about Superstar getting a lax nature. Honestly. Sorry, I got interrupted. As I was saying, Superstar's lax nature is actually a bit of a blessing in disguise. That is not, however. <laughs> Through, uh, just sheer chance, even though I don't like the fact that lower special defense on my special tank, I don't have a dedicated physical tank, so... Super Superstar getting a plus defense nature helping out its physical defense. Well, I don't think it will entirely fill that void in my team. I think it will help me in the area I other would have wise had a lot of struggles. Be the team rocket guy. I'm steamed. <clears throat> Wait, let's heal up, cause Supernova took. No, I didn't mean to sound sprout. Took quite a beating. Then let's put Raiden back up front, cause Superstar is still a bit too low level to. Actually repelled the Pokemon. It's kind of hoping for a uh, a better debut battle for my favorite Pokemon in the whole game, but uh, here's a chance to at least amend that, even if your debut battle will never be fully erased. <clears throat> We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Finding Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. Alright, Mr. Gruntity Grunt Grunt. Got a Radita. Let's see if Superstar can actually do it here. Alright, right. All right. take an attack, little pro. Cute, what is with my luck in these contact abilities? Admittedly, I'm have I'm having a lot better luck with Cute Charm than I did in my practice run because my practice one I won I'm in my practice run. Ah, oh, god dang it, Superstar! In my practice run, I got a male, a uh, Clefairy, and the thing is, just male Pokemon are just inherently more common because they usually. Uh, at least when in Trainer Battle, Superstar be level 11, okay. They usually like mimic the gender of their trainer. So, and most trainers are just male, so. I ain't get used that much, but I'm getting lucky with these 30% contact moves. Back that Superstar might have been a 1% chance encounter. And I think Superstar might be able to help Pokemon now, so I think I'll just keep her up front. It's here. I remember there being a hidden item. Okay, never mind, Superstar. Alright, I remember being a hidden item here. Moonstone. Since there's a trainer up there, I might as well keep Superstar in the lead. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Super Nerd Miguel, he's gonna struggle to burn. I don't know why I 
introducing him like a boss, because he's not. I'm gonna try and get the Sing. The Sing is damn inaccurate. Okay, we're not, we're not getting the Sing off. It would be nice if we could get in the sleep. Uh, I don't like that. If, if, only, if only this was a Gen 4 game. And I could have gotten Magic Guard instead of Cute Charm, but... Just gonna have to... I should have encored that turn. I, I need to think like that. Oh, we got Cute, cute Charm again! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, yeah, I'm gonna switch right in. Even though Grimer is a bit of a special tank. Oh yeah, the level difference and the crit will help. <laughs> One thing I should actually mention about Raiden now that it's out. Uh, during the bios last episode, Raiden learned Double Team. This is a move that ups your evasion. Even against the AI, I don't usually like using these sorts of moves. But in this case... It was just, it, it, Growl was not a better move, no matter how you slice it, so I just decided to give Raiden double team. I probably won't be using it, like, ever, but I figured I, I might as well do it. And Raiden is now level 18. Alright, Voltor. I think I'm gonna stay in. The poison is gonna be annoying. But Voltorb is not that strong, so I think we'll be fine. We might be out of potion. Yep. Don't even have antidotes either. This is just one really crappy situation. I think I'm just barely be able to survive. And we've been through Miguel. Okay, I'll share. Need to take a fossil. No being greedy. I'm gonna put Sprout in front, cause we're like at the end of this dungeon, so... There, there, there's no reason to go back and heal. Wait, the fossils. The Helix fossil, or the Dome fossil. Normally I wouldn't go over the Pokemon in the fossils until we can actually obtain them. But we're not gonna be able to obtain the Pokemon you can through these fossils for a long time. So, for those of you who want who want to consider these fossils for your team, I figured I'd tell you about the fossils right now. First, if you choose the Helix fossil, you will get Almanite. This is a water rock type. Just pretty solid offensively with only four weaknesses. As for its abilities, it can either have Swift Swim, which raises its speed and rain, or Shell Armor, I believe it's called. I'll have to think, think, think I have to start the spell over, guys. I, I might have forgotten to start talking. Whatever, I'll just recap. Almanite is what you guys can get. The Helix Fossil It's a Water Rock type. It's pretty solid, off, both offensively and defensively. And it can have one or two abilities, either Swift Swim or Shell Armor. Swift Swim, Swift Swim raises its speed in rain, and Shell Armor prevents it from getting crit. Decent abilities. As for its moveset, it has a decent variety with learning Dark, Water, Normal, Ground, and Rock type moves. As for its stats, it's a physical tank. This sounds like a pretty good Pokemon. Fortunately, you get it ne very near to the tail end of the journey, and once you do, 
It's only level 5. There's no way around it. If you're using this on your team, you are going to have to grind. That can be a turnoff for some of you. And I don't recommend it for that reason. But if you want to use ye old mighty Lord Helix, the choice is yours. And if you pick the Dome Fossil, you get Kabuto. Another rock water type. Same positives I had to say about Omanyte. And it has the same abilities. Now on to its moveset. It learns Grass, Normal, Ground, and Rock type moves. Yeah, despite being a Rock Water type, it doesn't learn a single Water type move via level up. Which means, um, unless you got some TMs, you should really only think of it as a Rock type offensively. Now, think of the Rock Water for purely its defensive capabilities. Which is actually a bit of a positive because Kabutops, or Kabuto, I, I guess, well, the name of its evolution, but it really doesn't matter, is a speedy physical tank. Definitely uh, interesting with, as opposed to Omanite, who specializes in its attack stat, the special variety, Kabuto is more of a physical attacker. And it has decent speed, which is definitely an interesting trait for a tank. It does have the same criticism of you only get it at level 5 near the end of the adventure. Once again, if you want to use this thing on your team, you are grinding before the end of the adventure. If you don't want to grind, then don't use this Pokemon. Two good Pokemon that just due to unfortunate circumstances I can't recommend. And I'm not using either of these on my team, so I guess I'll just go for the Helix Fossil. It really doesn't matter to me since I'm not using either of them. Alright, then this fossil is mine. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, they both faded. We'll, we'll get that. Oh, now you'll give me an antidote! <sighs> then there's a tiny mushroom here? No, not that that matters as much to me. I think it's the same as, like, the big mushroom, but just... Yeah, it doesn't cost as much. doesn't pay, pay for as much. Here we are on this second end of Route 4. I think... I'm going to call it quits for this episode. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. We'll be heading through the second end of Route 4. And hopefully, or like the third episode in a row, making it to Cerulean City. This has been It's-A-Me. Take care. And I'll see you guys next time.